The cutting room floor can be a surprisingly expensive place. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 most expensive deleted scenes. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the most expensive sequences to be removed from their respective films and basing our choices on a mix of the actual cost and how interesting the story behind the decision is. But that means we're excluding material lost due to reshoots. What will you become? Number 10, dance sequence, Ghostbusters. I would like to see you dance. This controversial reboot of the beloved 80s classic had a bumpy production to say the least, including one hugely expensive scene that was cut from the film. In the sequence, Chris Hemsworth's Kevin, under the control of the film's main baddie, leads a dance number set to the Bee Gees' You Should Be Dancing. Despite a budget in the seven-figure range, test audiences were mixed on the lavish sequence, so it was cut, a move director Paul Feig called the biggest decision of his life. The sequence was used in part for the film's closing credits, so at least it wasn't a total loss. Number 9. Tree Attack, The Brothers Grimm Bro, are you, are you saying what I'm saying? I most definitely am not. Terry Gilliam is no stranger to setbacks keeping his films from greatness, or from being made at all for that matter. While it may not be his most notable setback, the director did admit to cutting the most expensive scene from his 2005 fantasy adventure. The scene had the titular brothers attacked by trees, but Gilliam's fellow Monty Python alum Terry Jones suggested that the scene created pacing problems, prompting the director to give the sequence the axe. With the Terry's shared history, it's safe to assume this was the right call, but you can still see the scene on the DVD extras and decide for yourself. Number 8. Tales of the Black Freighter, Watchmen Ripping. Have you seen any other survivors? When it came to adapting Alan Moore and Dave Gibbons' bleak comic, director Zack Snyder pulled out all the stops. Before the film hit theaters, however, one crucial element was removed. An interstitial story ripped from the pages of a pirate comic book being read by a minor character at a newsstand. In Snyder's vision, these segments would have been animated and starred the voice of Gerard Butler. However, the sequences would have put the film's runtime past the three-hour mark. In 2009, a three-hour comic book adaptation was unheard of, and the scenes were instead released as a standalone DVD. How had I reached this appalling position with love, only love, as my guide? Number 7. Theater Massacre, Gangster Squad Sarge, the whole town's underwater, and you're grabbing a bucket when you should grab a bathing suit. This violent tale of LA police detectives going outside the law to combat gangland boss Mickey Cohen didn't pull many punches when it came to graphic violence, but the producers still knew where to draw a line. The film originally included a major sequence in which Cohen's enforcers massacre a theater full of moviegoers. But in the wake of the 2012 Aurora Theater shooting, this scene was scrapped and a whole new ending was needed for the film. This setback cost the studio several million dollars and forced the film to be pushed back until the following year, further impacting its box office take. Two things you can't take back on this job, kid. Bullets out of your gun and words out of your mouth. Number 6. Pie Fight, Dr. Strangelove Yo, whoa, 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 Gentlemen, you can't fight in here, this is the war room. Not many films end with the destruction of all mankind, but this one does. However, the Stanley Cooper classic almost had a much different finale. Originally, a massive pie fight was meant to erupt between American and Russian delegates inside the war room, with President Muffley and the Russian ambassador losing their minds in the process. D Dimitri, there's no point in you getting hysterical at a moment like this. Test audiences weren't crazy about the scene, and the then recent assassination of JFK didn't help, so Cooper cut it out. Uh, there was some dialogue. Uh... How can you stand by when our president did something? And Stanley said, no, no. It's impossible to know how expensive the scene was, but with that many pies and actors, it couldn't have been cheap. Monsieur has been what? Number five, half of the original runtime, Cleopatra. Nothing like this has come into Rome since Romulus and Remus. This infamous film from the golden age of Hollywood is often used as the poster child for bloated, absurdly expensive Hollywood spectacles, and with good reason. Despite earning the highest box office gross of the year, the film actually lost money thanks to the massive and massively expensive sets, props, and costumes. 
but the fact that half the movie was cut accounts for a big chunk of the film's gargantuan price tag. Director Joseph L. Mankiewicz's original cut was six hours long, and we can only imagine the price tag attached to the three hours of unused footage. We'll sail at once. Number four, Clark visits Krypton, Superman returns. Where'd you go? To Krypton. Brian Singer's lavish tribute to the Christopher Reeve era of Superman films began with the Man of Steel returning to Earth after paying a visit to the remains of his homeworld of Krypton. While his visit to Krypton is only spoken of in the finished product, the film was intended to begin by showing Clark's visit to his destroyed homeworld. Studio executives hated the entirely silent sequence and ordered it cut despite allegedly costing over $10 million, a price tag which, if accurate, makes it the most expensive single deleted scene of all time, even if it isn't the most interesting. Number three, octopus scene, The Goonies. What happened out there? Were your lives in danger? The octopus was full of scary. Oh, the ending of this 1980s classic and its reference to an octopus is something that left viewers confused for decades. Despite Data's comment that the octopus was really scary in the film's closing scene, the theatrical cut of the film contained no such creature. It wasn't until years later that fans learned the origins of the line, a deleted sequence in which the gang are, indeed, attacked by an octopus. What? 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 <laughs> Oddly, the scene was re-added to certain TV edits, which, in a pre-internet world, only added to the confusion. There's no official word on how much the sequence cost, but octopi don't come cheap. Number two, Rogue Scenes, X-Men, Days of Future Past. I'm sorry, Kitty. This X-Men outing had no shortage of characters taking place across two eras and incorporating characters from both X-Men First Class and the earlier Brian Singer films. However, Singer found his initial version of the film was too crammed full of faces and names and elected to remove most of the scenes featuring Anna Paquin's Rogue, who was meant to play an important role in the third act. Hello, Logan. Most of Paquin's scenes ended up being cut and replaced by reshoots, most likely costing the studio a pretty penny. Paquin's scenes, however, were later reintegrated into the film for a special rogue cut. Number one, the jitterbug dance, The Wizard of Oz. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog too. <laughs> In order to capture Dorothy and her friends, the Wicked Witch of the West unleashed numerous nasties, including the Flying Monkeys. However, the Wicked Witch was meant to also deploy a creature called the Jitterbug, which would have forced them to dance. The sequence was planned, rehearsed, and shot at a cost of $80,000, or around $1.5 million in today's money. Despite the cost, the scene added little and was cut for fear it would date the film by referencing the then popular dance. Today, the only surviving footage of the sequence is a grainy home movie shot by composer Harold Arlen. Keep away from the jitterbug. 